Hello, I'm Lisa from Puzzled by Lisa, and today we're going to look at all the new UK puzzles from 2024. And we have quite a few to look at, so let's jump in straight into it. So this is the first one. It's called Garden Allotment, and this puzzle is by Georgia Breeze. This is her second puzzle. It is really beautiful, really nice. You have lots of flowers to work with here and these cute houses and some sky that makes it slightly easier to work with and I really really enjoyed this one. This other one is a puzzle by Elsa Black. This is a very easy puzzle to do because there is a lot of colors that you can actually use here and I have to say that it went really quick compared to other puzzles. Elsa Black has four puzzles with Ravensburger, so you might have seen some of the other ones. I think the harder one to get at this point would be uh, No Ball Games, which is from 2020, but you might have seen Harbor Life or Highland uh, or, or Puffins, which are basically like her other puzzles. This one, in my opinion, is one of the best of 2024, and that is an Amy Stewart puzzle. We'll see another one really, really soon as well. But this Amy Stewart puzzle is actually like a 2024 available in the UK only, and it's called Vintage Knitting and Crochet. And you can see all the beautiful colors and all the beautiful booklets in here. and. If you've done a few of Amy Stewart's puzzles, there is a few ones that are working on knitting and they have very similar things to that one. So I loved it and I highly recommend it. This one is called The Orangery and it's by Anne Cyril. It's the second one in the series of Cozy Cafe. Again, there was another one last year, which was really, really nice. It's slightly more busy than the other ones we're looking at. And there is definitely lots of flowers, which is sometimes harder to work on, but a good challenge is good. And answer is always really, really beautiful. This one is called Coastal Cottage. And that one is actually by an artist that has not worked with Ravensburger before. Her name is Emma Ellen. And this was also pretty easy to do because the colors are quite distinct. So it was really fun to do that one as well. This one is the biggest surprise of 2024 in my opinion, and that's because it is by Linda Jane Smith. Now, if you know Linda Jane Smith, Linda Jane Smith is actually an artist that does the Crazy Cat series. So almost all of her puzzles with Ravensburger are of cats and specifically the Crazy Cat series. This one is a complete outlier you can see some of her unique style, for example, in this person over here or here, uh, but definitely a very unique one. And it's going to be very interesting to see if she does anything new that is not cats. Uh, of course, we will see another one that is cats in a moment, but this one is really a different one from her. And for people who love My Haven, there is a number 11 here which is My Haven, the artist shed. Beautiful puzzle, super fun to do. Steve Reed is just magnificent. And really, I was very happy to see yet another one coming in this series. And you can also see, of course, the special around the box and the My Haven sign, which is something that exists in Steve Reed. And another favorite of mine is uh, Dominic Davison. This is number four in Down the Lane and probably the easiest one among this series. Definitely beautiful one. Watch the video about Dominic Davison Down the Lane series. And now we'll be looking at Yorkshire Dales. Forgive me for a second that I need to check the artist. I have not done that yet. Uh, the artist here is Eleanor Tomlinson and one thing you need to know about her she did the coronation dogs last year with the coronation of King Charles and so she's definitely like more into UK type of puzzles 
but as we said this whole thing is UK only so makes sense of course and I haven't done that yet but it looks slightly more muted with color so I hope it's not gonna be super difficult now we've been through answer before but this one is another answer called tropical black butterflies answer has a full beautiful series of butterflies moth birds trees if you don't know her I highly recommend to check it out I'll add all of the links to my website showing all of those series later on if you want to check it out you can now this one is really uh, special it's called PR detective the grand ballroom I have not done it it looks very very busy there are two German ones that are pretty much as busy as this one but on a different actually uh, effort uh, but I'll do that one soon and I'll really connect if somebody's looking for something that looks like fun and very busy that is your puzzle I guess for this year and continuing uh, as usual to the next one we go to Linda Jane Smith then we have the haberdashery here uh, it's called like Miss Mrs. Hardwick's Hard Haberdashery Crazy Cats uh, that's the usual in the Jane Smith kind of like style beautiful and highly recommended always that's one I've done just a few days ago so the box is really empty and super super light and that is a Kevin Walsh puzzle a country drive and this is number nine in leisure days Kevin Walsh have lots and lots of puzzles for Ravensburg all of them are nostalgic UK ones and there is this series there is a bunch of other series with him this one is beautiful I love always doing the cards they have like such delightful colors and easy to actually separate and we're gonna finish with another Kevin Walsh which is actually called a country station that's not part of a series so as I said Kevin Walsh sometimes have series and sometimes doesn't but this one was slightly more difficult than the other one because there is not as much color uh, but again always usual nostalgic beautiful scenes I have to say that I'm delighted every time Kevin Walsh has a new puzzle so that one is one of his 2024 uh, let's actually check how many Kevin Walsh puzzles exist in general uh, if you go to my website and you click on an artist's name for the most part it will give you all of their puzzles so looking at Kevin Walsh we have about let's see oh, interesting let's see. okay we have about 50 puzzles with Kevin Walsh over the years and if I look at actually like when he started doing puzzles with uh, Robin's murder and you can go you know to my uh, website and actually just sort by year you'd see that the first one he did was 1998 then he had a 2000 and now he still does puzzles with Robin's murder in 2024 uh, these are the new two ones the one that I've just showed you okay I promised you will see another in the store but I forgot to put it in the pile so I brought it now and we have the one that's called the natural world by Amy Stewart and I have to say that is not as easy as the crochet one but it is absolutely beautiful and so I can only highly recommend to do this one as well so if you're getting UK puzzles I would say there are lots and lots of beautiful puzzles to pick and choose from and definitely Amy Stewart is always a favorite so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you're gonna keep following me and subscribe and I will show you lots more of interesting Ravensburger puzzles that you might not know that they exist. I'll add at the end all of those puzzles that are complete. I still have a few fit to finish uh, but I'm pretty close to doing them all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.